now that we've looked at skeletons of these different coral growth forms, let's take a look at what they look like in the field with their tissues intact. I won't tell you what these morphologies are, but you can maybe discuss this with your teachers and with your friends. So let's look at the way these colonies are growing. They're growing outwards, forming these black branch-like structures. Again, we have these contorted branches and relatively small coralite sizes. Now let's look at these corals. They're growing outwards from the edge and only the central part of the colony is attached to the reef substratum. These corals are growing as a thin crust over the substratum. These corals are growing as discs or domes, but they're not attached to the reef surface. These corals are growing outwards and upwards and leaving behind a solid, dense skeleton. And these corals are forming thick branches with the polyps or corallites around the edges or outside of the columns. Another thing to keep in mind when you're looking at corals if you're out snorkeling or diving on the reef is that the coral morphology is determined by the structure of the skeleton and sometimes the polyps can obscure or hide what the underlying skeleton looks like. So this is an example of a coral that has very long extended floating polyps. So these are the polyps here and these are the tentacles around the edges of the polyps. This is actually a columnar growth form, but you can't see that from the coral tissues. Here's another example, and this is actually a mound shaped or massive colony. Again, these thick fleshy tissues are obscuring the underlying skeleton. And we have another massive coral, but in this case, the coral tissues are forming gas-like bubbles that again hide the underlying structure of the skeleton. Sometimes to be able to see the skeleton, you need to waft some water over the coral tissue surface to get the tissues to retract so that you can see the skeleton.